All right, so we're gonna do some more practice for literal equations. So literal equations are just basically equations of formulas. So you're gonna see lots of variables in literal equations, but like, don't let that, you know, scare you because um, students tend to see a lot of variables and like no numbers. So they're like, how, oh, what do you do? But just remember that the variables represent numbers. So you can still perform the same operations that you normally could when you're solving equations. So like you can add, subtract, multiply and divide. And just depending on what you're trying to solve for, that's gonna determine what you're gonna do. So let's go through some of these. So we're gonna solve these literal equations for X. So going through 11, what we can start off doing is you can factor on X from the AX and the BX. So you can get an X times an A minus a B is equal to K. Think of this um, as like backwards distribution or like reverse distribution, it's called factoring. But if you were to distribute that X to that A, you would get AX. And if you were to distribute that X to that minus B, you would get minus BX. So you would go back to here. Now again, think of this whole group as a number. Think of it as like maybe it's five. So it's like X times five. If you wanna get rid of the five, you're gonna divide by it. So we're gonna divide both sides by A minus B in this case. That whole thing goes away. And then your answer is just gonna be that X equals K over A minus B. You don't have to actually put the denominator in parentheses. I like to do it because it helps um, emphasize that it's a group, but this will be your answer. All right, let's go through 12. Again, we're gonna solve for, um, we're gonna solve for X. Now, before we factor out an X, let's subtract S from both sides. Because again, remember, think of the S as like if it's a number, think of it as if it's like a 10. So if you're gonna add 10 to both sides and you wanna undo adding 10, you're gonna subtract 10. So in this case, you were just taking away S. So what you're gonna get is P minus S equals QX plus RX. Now from here, we factor out the X from these two terms. So we'll get P minus S equals X times the Q plus an R. Because again, if you were to multiply the X by the Q and the X by the R, so distribution in other words, you would go back to QX plus RX. So this is called factoring. Now we just have to undo multiplying by this group. So again, think of the Q plus R as two numbers being added. So like think of them as like, think of, the, think of these two things adding up to 10. So it's like X times 10. So if you wanna undo that 10, you would, you would just divide by it. In this case, it's just dividing by Q plus R. So this goes away. And again, try not to um, mess around with um, breaking this up into like, you know, fractions if, if you're not confident. And so it's perfectly fine if you just leave your answer like this. Your answer will just be P minus S over Q plus R is equal to X. All right, let's look at two more. So let's look at 13. All right, so here we have the 11 that we need to get rid of. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract that 11 from both sides. Let me actually put this over. Let me subtract 11 from both sides before we do anything. So that goes away. And then you'll have negative four X minus three J X equals W minus 11. Then we're gonna factor out the X from each of these. So I'll have an X times a negative four minus three J equals W minus 11. Again, if you were to distribute that X to, to the negative four and negative three J, you would go back to this. But since we're trying to get X by itself, we're gonna divide both sides by the minus four minus three J. Oh, like that minus four minus three J. This entire group cancels and you're left with X being equal to W minus 11 all over negative four minus three J. And just leave your answer like this. I mean, there are other ways to write this, but it's really not gonna be any um, more useful. So just leave it like this. Um, that way you don't have to worry about 
you making like a mis a, like a careless mistake. All right, one more. Here we have x minus eight plus three vx equals y. So before we do anything with the x, let's take away or let's add the eight. To, let's add an eight to both sides. Because then you'll get x plus three v x equals y plus eight. Now we can factor out an x from those two terms. So you'll get x and here you'll get a one because x times one will be x. Any number times one just gives you that, or any term or anything times one just gives you whatever that thing is. Here we're gonna have plus three v because x times three v equals three v x equal to y plus eight. Now we just divide by this group, the one plus three V. And then you get X is equal to Y plus eight all over one plus three B. And there you go.